time now for Women Changing the Game, presented by Principal. Mary B. Porter King has officiated over 100 U.S. national championships. She currently serves on the USGA Junior Amateur Committee. She served on the USGA Executive Committee. She co-founded the Hawaii State Junior Golf Association in 1998 and also had an LPGA career as a player spanning two decades with one win on tour. We are pleased to welcome Mary B. to Golf Central, and as we just explained, the co-founder of the Hawaii State Junior Golf Association, strong ties to the USGA as well. I'm wondering about your thoughts seeing one of Honolulu's very own win the U.S. Women's Open on Sunday. Boy, my thoughts. It's just absolutely amazing. Um, you know, over the years, we're 25 years old when I, uh, I formed this organization when I retired from playing. And my goal was to give our kids an opportunity because they just didn't have much living in Hawaii. They had everything else in life, but not a lot of opportunities. So they had to do all the work. And with the opportunities, we've now had two U.S. Women's Open champions, Michelle Wee and Allison Corpus in the last 10 years. So it certainly paid off. Let's talk about your background. What drew you to golf and how did you get started in the game? I started um, in Southern California under Betty Hicks, who was one of the early players with uh, on the LPGA tour. One of and she she actually won the women's amateur. There I am, and uh, she had a very strong opinion about how children should behave on the golf course, and I've carried that on. She was uh, made sure that we all knew the rules, and I also have carried that on with the Hawaii State Junior Golf Association and. These women, the Betsy Rawls and the Patty Bergs and the Mickey Wrights were my idols uh, as a young player. And I got to go see them and meet them. And then later in my career, when I turned professional, I, I got to play with them and know them. And um, I, I wanted to give that gift that I was given as a young child back to young people. Uh, it's a gift of a lifetime. Tell me about the transition from a successful LPGA career to working with now several of the sports governing bodies. Well, I've been very lucky. I, I, uh, before I retired, I went on the girls' junior committee, uh, thanks to a friend of mine, Kathy Matt, who had been on it. And, and I, I really enjoyed seeing young people come up to the game, which really motivated me when I moved to Hawaii to get more involved. So when I did retire, it was uh, it was just a given, and and I was very happy being on the girls' junior committee. And it was actually in year two thousand here at Pebble Beach that I was asked to be on the executive committee to the USGA, which is something I never dreamed I would be. But it was an honor that um, that I can't begin to tell you. It was an amazing honor, and uh, I spent my time here um, with the USGA, and uh, I got very involved with the rules and. Uh, I um, then was asked to serve on the board of directors uh, of the PGA of America. And again, an amazing honor, uh, people that I admire and respect that give so much back to the game. So, and I did, thanks to Brian Whitcomb uh, and Alan Murnowski, we served on their rules committee for several years. So I, I've had just an amazing career and I'll never be able to give back all that golf's given me through the years. Might be hard to pin one thing down, but with the work you're talking about, the USGA, the PGA of America, among others, what contribution to the game are you most proud of? I really, I, I like I said in the beginning, I, I really wanted to give young people more opportunities, and I continue to do that today uh, in getting involved with different things with the La Ladies National Golf Association. Um, I'm a board of directors there. I had played in it as a young player, as an amateur, and it was a wonderful opportunity to play with players from all over the United States. And now we have fields from all over the world. And um, I just think it's so important for young people to have opportunities to play. And I think we all know that those who have played great in any sport or done well, they have to have competition. And um, the more competition, I think, the better. Just like Allison Corpus, I believe she's played in 19 USJ championships and now wins the Women's Open. So the more, you, the more you push yourself, the more you put yourself in an uncomfortable situation, I think the more we grow. So that was really my, I, I think, what I'm most proud is to see how well our, our young people have done. And we've had several other USJ champions come out of Hawaii since we started 
uh, the Hawaii State Junior Golf Association. And that takes me to the final question. You mentioned the Ladies National Golf Association and an upcoming event, a big one for that group. It is. Uh, this is the 93rd championship, and there aren't many women's championships. There are for men, but not for women. But this is one, like I said, that I had played as a young amateur, and uh, it's July 25th to 27th uh, at the Grizzly Golf and Social Club in Mason, Ohio. And uh, it's where actually we played the LPJ championship. It was Kings Island prior to uh, them changing the name. And it, to me, uh, is one of the elite women's amateur championships and uh, the deadline closes in two days on Wednesday. So uh, it's one of those, we've had amazing champions through the years and uh, we hope to have another amazing champion to, uh, this year. Mary B. Porter King joining us on Golf Central. Thank you so much for the time and good luck. Thank you, Whit. Thanks for the time.